Hello friends. In first part, we learned about transportation of substances in humans. In this video, we will learn about transportation in plants and excretion. For photosynthesis, plants need water and other raw materials. They absorb water from soil through roots, carbon dioxide from air through leaves and solar energy is trapped by chlorophyll present in the cells. As leaves are the food factories of plants, water has to reach leaves. Similarly, the food synthesized in the leaves is to be transported to the different parts of the plant. Therefore, for the purpose of movement of all these substances, a well-developed transport system is required. This system is called the vascular system. The vascular system consists of two tissues. Xylem and phloem. Xylem is the tissue which carries minerals and water from roots to the other parts of the plant. This process is called ascent of sap. The ascent of sap takes place, due to the suction caused by transpiration. Xylem forms, an extensive network, throughout the plant. Similarly, phloem forms long tubes for transportation of food from leaves to the other parts of the plant by a process called translocation. Phloem tubes are also called sieve tubes. Transpiration is the process by which plants lose water in the form of water vapor from their aerial parts, mainly leaves through stomata, in order to compensate the lost water, more water diffuses into spongy tissue of the leaf from xylem vessels. The xylem functions as a straw, through which water and dissolved minerals are drawn from roots to leaves. This is called transpiration pull. The roots of plants have tiny outgrowths from their outer cells called the root hair. The root hair are the passage point for water and minerals salts to enter into the roots. The root hairs increase the surface area of roots. This leads to absorption of increased amount of substances. Water is absorbed by the roots through a process called osmosis. Osmosis is the process of transfer of water molecules through a semi-permeable membrane. Water molecules move from the area where there are more number of water molecules to the area where there are less number of water molecules. Excretion is the process of removal of metabolic wastes from the body. These wastes are generated as a result of various life-sustaining activities such as respiration and digestion taking place inside the body. Carbon dioxide is a waste product produced during respiration. The undigested food, sweat and urea are other examples of wastes produced in the body. These wastes, if accumulated in the body for a longer time, become harmful for the body. Thus, removal of these wastes is extremely important for maintaining a healthy body. Different animals have different mechanisms of excretion. Single-cell organisms such as amoeba, which are aquatic in nature, excrete waste by the simple process of diffusion. Oxygen from the surrounding water diffuses into the cell through the cell membrane. The amoeba then uses the oxygen to break down food into simpler molecules. The amoeba also expels carbon dioxide through diffusion. In fishes, the excretion takes place through gills and kidneys. The waste of aquatic organisms is mainly in the form of ammonia. The organisms that remove nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia are called ammoniotelic organisms. Some other organisms such as insects, reptiles and birds excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid. They are called uricotelic organisms. Human beings and other mammals living on land excrete urea as the major nitrogenous waste. They are called ureotelic organisms. In humans, different forms of waste products are eliminated from the body by different mechanisms. Digestion is a process by which solid undigested food products, along with some other waste products formed in the digestion process are removed from the body. They are collected in the large intestine, and then expelled through anus, in the form of faces. Exhalation is a process in which gaseous waste, such as carbon dioxide and excess water vapor are expelled through the lungs. Sweating helps to expel water, small amount of urea, and salts through the sweat glands present in the skin. These are excreted in the form of sweat. 
sweating also helps in cooling our body when the temperature is high. Excretion is the process of eliminating toxic nitrogenous wastes from the body. In human beings, it is carried out mainly by the urinary system. Various organs that form the excretory system of human beings are, kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Kidneys are a pair of bean-shaped organs. They are reddish-brown in color. Ureters are a pair of tube-like structures that connect the kidneys to the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is a large muscular bag-like organ that helps in storing liquid waste in the form of urine temporarily. Urethra is connected to the urinary bladder on one side. On the other side, it opens outside through a small opening, which helps in passing out urine. Each kidney consists of a large number of coil tubes called nephrons. Nephrons are the functional units of the kidney. They help in forming urine. Nephrons are the filtering units of the urinary system, which filter out excess salts, urea and water from the blood. When the blood passes through the nephrons, it gets cleaned. Then filtered blood is transported back to other parts of the body. Glucose amino acids and salts are reabsorbed in the kidney the waste is removed from the body in the form of urine about 95 percent of urine is water and the rest of the urine contains urea and the other nitrogenous wastes a normal adult human beings excretes about 1.5 to 2 liters of urine per day sometimes presence of abnormal constituents in urine indicate that the person is suffering from some disease some of the examples are as follows when glucose is present in urine, it indicates the disease diabetes mellitus. When large volume of diluted urine are repeatedly passed out, the disease could be diabetes insipidus. When blood is present in urine, it indicates some tumor, infection or damage of kidneys. Hence, urine also acts as an indicator to find out other illness. In case of damaged kidneys, an artificial kidney or a dialyzing machine is used to maintain normal level of water and minerals and to clean the blood of metabolic wastes. This process is called dialysis. Hope you understand everything about transportation in plant, excretion in animals and humans. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel for such informative video.